Is it yum nice or is it ew? Check Ben's Pumpkin Spice Review! Hello and welcome back to Ben's Pumpkin Spice Reviews. I'm Margot Shotput, filling in for Ben. Because of social distancing, in effect, my normal production team is not here, which includes, of course, our camera operators and hair and makeup. So I've had to do my own hair and makeup today. I think I've done a pretty good job, nailed the contouring. Let me know in the comments what you think. Today we're going to look at Nature's Path Pumpkin Spice Gluten-Free Waffles. These are oh, oh, available in Portrait or Landscape. These are gluten-free toaster waffles, kind of like your, your, your Ego brand, but these theoretically have better ingredients. Water, pumpkin puree, brown rice flour, potato starch, corn flour, tapioca starch, soy oil, cane sugar, soy lecithin, flax seeds, potato flour, pear juice concentrate, baking powder, quinoa, amaranth, spices, natural pumpkin pie, spice flavor, and sea salt. And most of those ingredients are organic, so decent ingredients. And um, nice to see the pumpkin puree is actually the second ingredient there. So let's uh, get some of these in the toaster and see how they taste. I've heated this up in the toaster for a little while on the uh, frozen setting, and I've just put a little bit of uh, melted, okay, a little bit of melted butter and uh, an eyelash. All right, we'll save that for later for dessert. Just a little bit of melted butter on this one so we can really taste the proper pumpkin flavor. They are drier than a normal toaster waffle, and they're definitely not as good as a real proper waffle that you make yourself. I'm smelling the pumpkin and pumpkin spice flavor, but it's not super strong. These are good, but it isn't that rich pumpkin flavor that I was actually kind of hoping for. It also tastes a little bit like makeup, and I can't quite tell why. So that was good, but it wasn't delicious, and it didn't have a lot of flavor. Let me try it with some syrup, and I'm going to put a little twist on that syrup. Okay, so here's what I did. I made a little bit of syrup with about a teaspoon of maple syrup, half teaspoon of butter, and a teaspoon of our pumpkin pie filling, and a little bit of pumpkin pie spice. Topped it off with some pumpkin seeds. So this is how it should be eaten, I think. If I had some whipped cream or some whipped coconut milk, I would, uh, I would uh, throw that on there too. But let's, uh, let's give this a try now. The waffle is a perfect vessel for this delicious syrup. This is very good. This is one of those desserts that disguises itself as breakfast. If there's one thing I'm serious about, it's pumpkin spice. If there's two things I'm serious about, it's pumpkin spice and contouring. Well, there you go. We got Nature's Path pumpkin spice gluten-free waffles. Nature's Path is actually a local company based in Richmond, BC. And they've done some good work in the community too, donating to different events. They've just been a pretty great company and have made a decent product here, which um, you can get it. I know you can get this at Whole Foods. Sometimes I've seen it in Safeway and some superstores have this as well. I actually got this one from Stong's across in North Vancouver. No, nope, there you go. Nature's Path pumpkin spice, pretty good but even better when you make your own uh, pumpkin spice syrup. So you got yourself a review and a recipe today. Till next time, thanks for watching Ben's Pumpkin Spice Reviews. Is it yum nice or is it ew? Check Ben's Pumpkin Spice Reviews.